Hello? Scrambler's crazier than usual. Watch yourself. Scrambler, huh? I don't know this person. Hello. Hello. Steer clear of the Mojave post. NCR troopers all over the place down there. Oh, hi. You guys don't mind if I introduce myself? I don't imagine you're a scrambler. No. Which one of you? Eddie and Scrambler. I suppose... President Peaches. What are you looking at? I suppose that's the current president of the NCR. It probably is. Uh, what do you do to end up in here? Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. Why are you called the Scrambler? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. How'd you all break out? Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. What do you do around here? I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. Heh. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. You guys don't even have nice toilets. Look at that. That's Jet, I think. Yes, it is. Eddie. Daw said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? What do you need done? This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? You only want me to deal with Chavez? Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. I'll do it. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky, and he's careless, he might still be there. Sure. That's a, an interesting quest. I fought the law. How did you end up in this place? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. How did you break, uh, did the breakout happen? It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. What can you tell me about the prison? The NCR called it a work release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite, and look who's in charge now. What do you know about Cook? One mean son of a bitch. Really truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. Where is he? He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. Yeah, get out of here. There's still places that we haven't seen. I think there is on the other side over there. Cell blocks and whatnot. Carter. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick and tired of dealing with the same old faces all day. You're a traitor? Wasn't always a traitor, but Figured I might as well keep doing it. I've always had a way of getting things. Scavenging. Talking to the right people. Selling. And of course, borrowing things when I need to. What did you do to end up here in the first place? I worked at a casino in New Reno, when one of the pit bosses decided they didn't like me. Framed me over some caps, and I ended up here. <laughs> Says that I owe him a favor. And that he'll get back to me. I'm not looking forward to it. But just staying here for now. What can you tell me about this place? This is where the NCR sends prisoners. They want to reform us through hard labor. I never saw much reforming around here. Why do you stay here? 
got nowhere else to go. I just end up back in another prison. A dead out in the wasteland. Okay, show me what you have for sale. If I don't have anything you like, then get the fuck out. I don't do special orders. You have a lot of money. He has a lot of cards. Beautiful. Okay. That's it then. See ya. New people. Cut content, I think. Potentially. Although... Never gets old when something blows up. I never talked to Carter before, so maybe... Maybe he was only cut by me. Cut up by me when I came here the first time. Okay, what about cell block A? There's a lot of people going about. Not cleaning the place up. Patriot's cookbook. I need that. Oh, they, I didn't lose karma when I did that? Oh my god. Frag grenades. Actually, frag grenades are really expensive, aren't they? An armor case over here. Can't open that one. Trooper helmet. Powder ganger. Soldier outfit. This is the, the powder ganger outfit that um, I was talking about before. Uh, being able to... If I killed a powder ganger, I would get that easily. So I definitely can't open that. But that's a mine box. I don't really need it. Uh, hi. He's just eating. Hey. Hey. Interesting that we don't lose karma for that. Let's look at our karma right now. Because karma is more or less pointless. Because what you want is the reputations. But it is a general stat somewhere. Is it? Is it a status? I don't know. And that's the NCR Correctional Facility. Apart from maybe this guy. Do I have that thing on my face? I do. I do have the hockey mask. Good for us. I don't expect to be able to keep the hockey mask on my face for a long while. Because it's going to break eventually. And I don't think we have enough for fixing it. But that is that. I don't think I lost any, uh, any money coming here. So this means that Prim's sheriff is now done. It also means that I, st because I still have the other, the other options, the other optional ways of completing this mission, I might be able to finish them before, you know, I might be able to extract a little bit more experience if I wanted to. It's yeah. not really that important. Uh, but I might be able to program Slim Prim over here. Hi. Prim Slim, that's the one. Howdy, partner. Welcome to... Uh, let's reprogram to serve as Prim's sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! I don't know that that is a good thing. Oh, no, it is not. It does complete... Happy trails, partner. It does complete the mission, unlike the other one. That's sort of interesting, isn't it? It shouldn't well. complete the mission. Anyway, um... So, where can we go? We have... Oh, we probably need to go outside. I never came in here. Oh. Hi. Have you gotten my pardon from the NCR yet? Oh, no. Uh, right. I forgot about that. I was talking... Yes. Uh, where should I go to get your uh, pardon? There's an NCR camp down on the southern border in Nevada. Camp Mojave, I think. Try to find someone of authority there. Yeah. Tell me more about what happened in the prison. I understand the cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where can I find Cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where, didn't say why. 
All I know is, he's got some score to settle with the NCR. Who's in charge of the Potter Gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Hmm, okay. Watch yourself out there. So that's why... That's why he, he just bringing him here doesn't complete the quest. Yeah. Well, we have a place to go then. Mojave Outposts. Let's go. What is that up there? California Sunset Drive-In. This drive-in? Drive-ins are such a goofy thing. I don't think we have them here in Portugal. Like, I remember seeing them in movies, and honestly, they are zany beyond all belief, honestly, to me. It's like, I always thought they was just like, it's just a thing that happens in movies. People go to the cinema on their car, you know, because maybe they, they thought it looked cool for, for, the, for cinematic purposes or something. I don't know. Movies are weird. It's like the, what is this Thanksgiving thing that they have? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. It's a thing that happens in movies, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Stash toolbox with a sensor module. Finally, we got one. We might be able to get Eddie soon. Just need another one. Your pit boy here has received a signal telling you to continue up this pass. Called the Reunion. Did I receive a signal for that? Travel to the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the divide. Oh that's a really cool that's a that's a that's a mod as well, the way this is introduced. That is a really cool way of doing it. Um, the Divide, I believe, is the last DLC that we'll play. I'll, st I'll still have to make sure I know what the, um, what the order is before I, I do it. But, frag grenades in here and stuff. And, of course, plastic skeletons. Pork and beans! That's how it works. Wait a minute, I can't go in there? Of course I can. Not that I would want to, it's just plastic skeletons, but still... Um, so this is one of the DLCs. And going in there, there's a lot of reasons to go in there. Ooh, there's coyotes over there. There's a lot of reasons. But one of them is the sensor module. It's like, I keep telling you I need the sensor module. Ooh. Graves for me to dig up. And also a coyote over there. Cat eye. I'll take that. See if I can sneak up to that guy. Here we are. Canyon wreckage. Courier 6? You can go home, courier. We're courier 6. Ooh. Yeah. The reunion. Lonesome Road, that's the name of the DLC. An MRE. Do I need a scalpel for anything? It's pretty inexpensive, or pretty light. A divide. But we're not going. It's an actual thing you interact with, with uh, the barricade. We're not going because it's a thing for later. It's the last thing that we'll do before we end the game. So it's going to be a long while. Where are these coyotes? What are you hiding? Oh, this looks interesting. Is it a dungeon? It is not. It's an NCR trooper. Stim pack. Whiskey. A face wrap armor. That adds ex... Oh my god. Face wrap armor is not just a face wrap. I wish it were. Uh, but it's an NCR armor and an NCR dog tag. We're going to need that for... Oh man, the submachine gun is expensive. Uh, we're going to need that for... Um, 
helping out the NCR. Which is where we're going, because we're going to the Mojave Outpost. Conveniently located to the west of where we are. And people who don't know what the Mojave even is will miss this, but that's towards Nevada. Sorry. We're in, Nova in Nevada. Uh, that's towards California. To the west. And I don't know if... Maybe maybe there are, like, environmental clues that uh, that tell you that, you know, California this way or something. And then, then you can put things together, even if you are not privy to the geography of the United States. Because Fallout 1 and 2 take place in California. I think we're about to find a new type of enemy. I'm not comfortable fighting these guys yet. They're a feral ghoul roamer. Fortunately, it goes down fast, but it did a number on my health. If you're alone, I might be able to... do something with it, but my god, these guys. Nine experience. Nine ex Oh, there's more. Well... Let's uh, make sure bad things don't happen to me. Get that steam pack expired. This is a dangerous area, though. There's an area up there. And I think all of this is filled with ghouls. And they're feral. Which basically means they've gone insane. Which is... A way of inter interpreting what the ghouls are. This one is really upset. He's gonna kill me. Oh my god, they go down fast. They get knocked out, like, super quick. Although this one was easy. Um, so, yeah, we're not gonna mess with them. The time I played through here... On, on the other playthrough that I did on camera, I had a sniper, and they still gave me a lot of trouble. Speaking of a lot of trouble, we're getting onto a greener area of the desert, getting some jalapenos on, and there's a gas station over here, I believe. Oh, there's... I think we found the powder gangers that we're looking for. I think we deal with Chavez. That's where we are, isn't it? How do I? It is not, but these guys are aggressive. What is going on? Okay, um, uh, we're gonna need steam packs. We're gonna need food. Uh, let's see what I have over here. MRE. That's a lot of food gone. It's got a pork and beans. Might be able to sneak up on him. That'd be brilliant. I don't know if I should be running or not. Come on! What are you doing? Oh, they're fighting more. I don't know what that is, but it's bad things. Um, you're not shooting at me. Oh, you don't know who they are. Gained karma for killing the convicts. That's sure. Okay. Who am I fighting? Oh my god. No, no, no. Run away. There's also a... Uh, oh my god. There's also an, a, a, an enemy. Okay, let's get... I guess more... Stim packs. There's, also, there's, there's somebody over here. There it is. You see in the middle of the... Of the compass. Oh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. Interesting. 
They sort of gave up. Why did they give up? Did they give up? Who are they? They're gonna see me. Bushes don't work as Jack Jackal gang member. Oh, they must have got away. Wow. Let's investigate. Oh yeah, it is one of the birds. They show up as a. They show up as a, an NPC. So these jackal gang members, they were fighting the convicts, but the convicts were aggressive. What a weird thing. Let's see if I can get some more food into my gullet here. Yeah, I need some of it. Uh, actually, I need some water. Let's go ahead and get Sunset Sarsaparilla. So where could they be? And why did they specifically get out of where they are to fight the convicts? So this guy over here, or girl, I think, they're just on edge. Hopefully they're not looking at each other. They're not. They're really weird. Come on. Oh, please don't. Please don't. That was the leader. She crippled my torso. <sighs> wow. What did she have? She has a repairs outfit. That's nice. Uh, I don't. I didn't actually look at the weapon she had. But that thing was brutal. Oh my god. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Ugh. <sighs> well, I... I'll leave you... Ooh, this is the police station. Can I go inside? We're gonna find weapons, aren't we? We're gonna find enemies, aren't we? Fuck you! Says whoever wrote that. I mean, there's gonna be enemies. Oh, B. Hi. Aha. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Okay. There's also freaking mantis. Why was there a mantis attacking me? Uh, these were just these are just normal people it looks like we definitely definitely need to come back here oh my god okay let's open this I think it's just bugs I don't know where the bugs are there they are. I don't think I need this to kill some bugs. Yep. It's just a lot of bugs. I wonder why. Oh, look at that. A dead prospector. Where's the other bug? There you are. Okay. Uppercuts for those mantis. This guy had a Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle cap. And some cards and whatnot. Why? Mm. I wonder if it was meant as a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we were supposed to find this first before finding the other bottle caps and whatnot. Of course, we're over encumbered, but we're not going to worry about that. There's also a carton of cigarettes back here that I'll definitely take. Uh, these things don't have anything for me, do they? I mean, you can make some food out of that if you want. Um, got some Hydra. Hydra is very important. Yep. Yeah. It's a good haul, all things considered. The lights are on 200 years after. These lamps, they, 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 they break. 
<laughs> a reloading bench. Yeah. Flamer fuel. Sure, I'll take all that. We're, we're going to worry about how we get out of here later. We don't need to worry about it right now. Actually, I think we might have to worry about it right now. Ooh, I see you. First aid box. These things are the things that you... Oh, yes. A uh, bitter drink. I think... Yeah, that's for healing. These things are the things that you definitely want to be on the lookout for. Guns and bullets. Ah, uh, lovely. Lovely book. It's from... I think it's probably the first skill book that you find in Fallout 1. Guns and bullets. I think. And, of course, here is just a magazine. But, yeah. Um... We're going to need to worry about how we get this back home. Let's do it. Let's have a chat with Dr. Mitchell. Oh, hi! How very fancy of you to... Not really. Not fancy. Fancy meeting you here is what I was going to say. In your house, going to your bed in the middle of the night. It's weird. He probably went to the toilet. Because... Get up. How are you holding up? They'll be using explosives. Um, do you have something for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. I did not know I could do that. Two doctor's bags is really handy. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I need to trade with you as well. Sure. That's what I came here for. He's got a little bit of money. Not too much, but that's enough. You take care now. Yep. And now, to go talk to Chet. Might have some more stuff over here, though. Oh, yeah. Now to go talk to Chet, because he also has new uh, has more money. Chet! Howdy. Get up. You don't say howdy before. It's weird. You looking to buy some supplies? You know it. Can do. Let's see if he has... Oh, boxing tape. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I don't think he has anything that I... Uh, that I sold to him. The other thing that I also want... Ooh, Salesman's Weekly. Hmm. Uh, the other thing that I sold to him, or that I bought from him before, was uh, weapon repair kits. But he doesn't have them this time. Which is a big shame. Okay. Pleasure doing business with you. I was gonna say. Take it easy now. Okay, so he doesn't have a sensor module, which is a big shame. He might have some out here, although I doubt it. It is a big shame. However, I know where scrap electronics exist, apart from, yeah, apart from that one. Let's go to the school. I found some scrap electronics in here while I was editing the footage and uh, I felt that I should uh, should come back and get it nothing else here obviously a lot of windows that are broken what is it called good springs schoolhouse not school home schoolhouse it's kind of it's kind of funny that it is called a, a schoolhouse because it, it's a school building, not really a house. Is that how it goes in the U.S. of A? Call it schoolhouse. Either way, let's have a nap. 